What is going on guys, Daniel AK Phoenix DTS coming at you guys with another brand new exciting video. This is my 300 subscriber Q&A video. We finally did it guys. We did it in like less than a month. We've reached 300 subscribers. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys are new to this channel and you're like, what the hell am I watching? This guy just randomly hit 300 subscribers. Like I react to filmmaking trailers and music videos, BTS videos and other things like that from a filmmaking standpoint that's like my niche right now so that's what you're in for new videos every single week guys but again thank you so much for subscribing for supporting my channel my content it's been a ride these past almost six years now and it's absolutely crazy and to see it's finally start like snowballing and gaining some momentum is super super heartwarming and really means a lot guys but again what this is a Q&A video, first real Q&A video I'm ever really doing. So on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube videos, in the comments, I've asked you guys for questions and I picked five of them. Let's jump right into it. All right, first question is from Cynthia Perez. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Can you talk about how old you were when you were first interested in filmmaking? Was it a movie you saw? And what were your first steps in learning about it? Well, great question, way to start this thing off. So. Uh, what can you talk? Okay, how old I was? Oh, geez, when I first ever wanted to make films, um, shoot, I was probably. Well, I mean, like, yeah, I you can say like, oh, I've always wanted to make movies, you know, like that's a dream, but like, actually work towards it and like make it a real thing. I'm gonna say sophomore year, so I was about 16. 15, 16, around there. That's how old I was. Um, movies um, that influenced me. Avatar was a huge one because that really like made a spectacle and was a really transportive experience along with Interstellar. Another really transportive experience. Um, and just any of like Christopher Nolan's work. He's my favorite director. I've made a video about him. Um, if you want to go check it out, it's on my channel. And if you want to go like super way back, um, to like childhood like influencers, um, I'm gonna say Dinosaur, the Walt Disney um, CGI animated movie. It's really good, really underrated too, and that movie got me into toy dinosaurs, which made me get a whole bunch of toys. Like I like begged my parents, and they got me a whole bunch of dinosaur toys, and I would play with those in my bed in my room. And so like I was making my own story. I was like planning them out. I would like have all the characters as different dinosaurs and I would voice them all. And I was like doing my own little thing in my room and basically being a storyteller in my room with toys. And so that's a huge uh, influencer into the storytelling seed in my life. But really good question. Spelling 55B, holy Jesus, you hit me with a lot of questions. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go through as many of these as I can without boring you guys to death. Okay, what made you wanna become a YouTuber? Um, Arbiter 617, Rise of the Spartans Part 5, look it up. So that basically, it's like a Halo machinima and you know that I used to make those. And so that basically showed me like, whoa, I can use something I love and with the game that I love and make a movie about it and tell my own story with it. That's super cool and that got me into like filmmaking kind of with Machinima and like made me wanna make a YouTube channel so I could put those Halo movies on there. And I have some, all of my Halo movies are still on this channel. Some of them are shit. Some of them are actually kinda good. Um, like Hope season one, episode four on is usually is pretty good, pretty solid. Anything before that, I think it's just kinda shit. Well, Sniper is good too. Um, do you have any other plans in expanding your channel to more diverse content. Well, funny you should ask that I actually just uploaded a reaction to Attack on Titan. And so that's coming out, or that already came out, and so I might be spreading out to more fields than just BTS. And I do, like whenever there's a movie trailer that's like a really good trailer, I'm gonna talk about that one too, if I have the time. And anything else is really just that I wanna talk about, I'll talk about. Um, but mainly I'm just trying to cover BTS because that's what I'm on right now. Um, yeah, and I'm also making a short film at school, so I'm gonna be putting that on the channel and the behind the scenes for that on the channel. So that's gonna take the place of um, my how to make a short film. That's gonna be basically what I'm gonna do instead. Other hobbies, um, I like to read, I like to write, I like to play video games. There's three right there. Favorite things, foods, favorite things, writing, favorite foods. Burgers. Uh, what do you do on a regular basis? Uh, maybe even vlog it. Well, I am trying to vlog more and like to make some GCF inspired things, but I actually do also have a vlog that's a day in the life of a successful YouTuber 
um, kind of like a parody vlog, but it is a vlog of like stuff I do on a general basis. So if you want to go check that out, I will have that in the YouTube card or in the description below somewhere for you to go check it out, or you can look for it on your own. Will you be reacting to more K-pop? Um, yes, I really want to cover all of BTS right now because I am one of those BTS only people right now. So I want to cover their base until I branch out because it's a very huge fit sea of stuff to tackle. It's kind of like anime. I'm only like Attack on Titan and Sword Art Online and I don't want to branch out and then I'll, because I might like fall in and just never find my way out. So I'm just pacing myself, all right? My boy Nick on Twitter, who I play Call of Duty with a lot, um, he says, pick an e-girl. My boy, there's no, there's no question. It's Pokemon. Um, that, yeah, that's how you say it because her name is, is Iman. Um, she is amazing. Um, I'm totally inspired by her and her content like really changed the way I looked at YouTube and everything. So I was like in a no YouTube like, I think it was like all of 2017 or something. Yeah, I, I like was dead on YouTube for the most. I, I think I uploaded like four or five videos the entire freaking year. And so, but then I found her content in 2018 and it really just infused me with energy and inspiration to come back to YouTube and like give it all everything I got. And I did that. I uh, came back, uploaded, started uploading weekly and it turned my, turned my channel around. And so you guys have her to thank for that. My coworker Olivia asks, favorite BTS song? You know what? I'm freaking tired of answering that question. You know, like I'm so... Yeah, like, I'm not even talking about that. And for the fifth and final question, just to wrap it up, we got another one from Cynthia Perez. She had a huge comment, but in there, there's a question. Let me find it. Have you ever thought of making a film that challenging? That challenging, referring to the BTS HYYH series universe storyline, where it's like, I need you, uh, Butterfly Prologue, Run... Uh, epilogue. I ha I'm on epilogue. That's the next one coming out very soon, guys. My reaction. Um, so, in terms of me writing a film and doing something like that, I don't think I would do it like that because uh, just releasing stuff in parts and just with a bunch of like, if you had one movie and it's just comprised of a bunch of random scenes and not a lot of dialogue, maybe a voiceover here and there, that wouldn't really work as a movie. And these aren't really movies. They're almost not even short films. The BTS ones are all music videos that are that have messages like and hints at the storyline sprinkled in, so that's how that works. Um, but I do um, am a huge fan of like complex storytelling with uh, twists and turns and time jumps. I'm super into that sort of thing. I just watched Westworld, it's crazy. It's good like that. Um, if you like those twists and turns, I suggest watching it. But yeah, I've always wanted to write something and do that and I'm slowly working towards that. Um, you have to be a very experienced writer and definitely know what you're doing and have full control over your story and your timeline and just the entire universe in which you're working with. And so I'm working my way towards that. And I'm also a huge fan of uh, films with very little dialogue. I, uh, if you haven't seen The Red Turtle, it's a Studio Ghibli movie. It's completely silent and it's, it's a great movie and there's no dialogue in it and that blows my mind. And so I'd wanna make something like that in the future too. Um, and also the film I'm working on right now in school is a dialogueless film, but it's only like three minutes. So um, to make something huge without dialogue would be a very grand feat. and something I am definitely trying to work towards. So yeah, guys, that, that's going to do it for the Q&A video. Thank you for everybody who submitted questions. It really, really means a lot to me. Um, if you didn't get a chance to do it, um, put, them, put more down. And I guess we'll, for the next one, for 400, I guess I'll try to do another one of these or something special. And I'll try to get to you guys on that, or else I'll just re I'll just reply in the comments section. It's no big deal, guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for supporting me. 300 subscribers, it's amazing. Uh, we're working our way towards 400 right now, and so hopefully we can just destroy that record too. And i uh, got a lot of brand new content coming for you guys. i got the short film I'm making for school that's going to be on here, and it's going to be great. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And i got a lot more BTS reactions and other reactions, trailer videos, and stuff like that coming at you guys very, very soon. So make sure you're subscribed to keep up to date with all that every single week. Follow me on social media. Oh, my, that just fell over. Look what this is. This is what I got, too. To celebrate for you guys, I got this poster. And this is going to go right here as soon as I put it up. But... Um, that's coming very soon. So we got a little studio upgrade too, guys. Uh, but anyways, this is Baby Dan. I like you, Phoenix, and I want you to find yourself, be yourself, and love yourself.
Hi guys, Daniel aka Phoenix here, checking in with you guys at the end of the video. If you did enjoy what you saw, please check out one of these other two videos or just like the video and subscribe down below for a video every single week. Thank you guys. I love you. Have a good one.